guys, what is going on? This is Spartan with another unit review, and today I'll be getting to the... What's it called? The B10C Boar 2. How many names do you need, man? Alright. So, I've been testing this unit out for a bit, and from what I found out, it's not as good as the Wild Boar. But it still is a pretty freaking awesome unit, so... I'm just trying to find a good formation of mammoths so I can get started and yeah, alright, that's a good one. Let me just put it up here. I'll show you the main differences between I'll show you the main differences between these two guys in a later on video. So yeah, the boar has four attacks. Now, as you can see, the missiles on this thing are more damaging during the and the armor piercing and incendiary shots don't hit us hard, so let me just pass the turn here. Now, there is a little visual difference too, but the animations look pretty much the same. Alright, so let me just show you the this one. This is gonna make sure this sounds good. I'll lower it later on if necessary. And yeah, it didn't even kill the first mammoth, so I'm guessing that's why this attack got a bit buffed or something. Yeah, the regular wild boar would have, yeah, done that. Alright, but besides that, let me just keep going. Um, yeah, the attacks on this boar are weakened and have less of a crit chance, but they can be, they have about, but this armor piercing shot has a 70% chance to poison a unit like that which can deal some damage over time and this is still a great unit like I'm not saying it's it's just gone terrible no, no. Uh, while the regular wild boar to me is still better this one is still very good I'm I think I replaced one of my samurai with a boar while fighting the sentinel and I still did very well so yeah let me just make some kind of ragtag formation here. Yeah, I recently got a railgun sniper. It's not a bad unit. So, uh, I'm gonna spare these two. Add this. There we go. Don't really want to deal with artillery and crap like that. Alright, so, now, with, with a board two, you can actually, with this first attack, you can actually hit three tiles at a time, or have the full damage on three tiles instead of two plus it deals more damage so 70 to 105 compared to the wild boars 63 to 98 yeah I know that's a different attack but it still deals the same damage so yeah I'm just gonna make a quick example of that and I'm just gonna hit like this see everything was hit not bad damage the area and the heavy recon attacks that did absolutely nothing there we go all right now for the armor piercing shot of this boar to the wild boar and yeah see it still deals good damage and it has that extra poison right there Alright, let's see if I can do this without losing the railgun sniper. The wild boar does deal more, and there is no like extra poison after effect, so depends on whether you like that or not. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill these things as fast as I can. I really don't want to lose the railgun sniper. Uh, this one can do it, this one can do it. Alright, I'm gonna go for this one. Alright. There we go. Let's go back to base. And yeah. The boar 2 comes pre ranked at rank 7 instead of 6, like as the original boar, so yeah. Now the boar 2 has 290 hit points, 150 armor, 45 bravery, 75 defense. 
Um, it takes less crushing damage, but more fire and piercing. Its armor is just cold by a bit. Um, it has the combat maneuvers with 4 ammo and a 6 turn reload like usual. Now the armor piercing shot do 87 to 129 times 4 piercing damage with a pet time of 1, cooldown of 6, 4 ammo use, 1 to 5 range. An indirect line of fire, 96 offense, 30% base crit, 20% crit versus soldier, 50% crit versus vehicle, 80% armor piercing, and a 75% chance to poison any target for 2 turns. The incendiary shot does 80 the same damage with a fire damage type and somehow this is called an incendiary shot yet it somehow poisons targets so that's game logic for you has a 25% base crit, 15% crit versus soldiers, 35% crit versus vehicle and 80 armor piercing the and the aircraft auto attack I'm just gonna skip over to the ground auto attack they do the same thing except that that one hits air and has a slightly different pattern now, the ground auto attack does 70 to 105 explosive damage with a cooldown of 4, 2 ammo used, 1 to 5 range, an indirect line of fire, base crit of 20% and 75 offense. Yeah, same here. Alright, so this was a Spartan with another unit review. I'll be doing a comparison of the Wild and Boar 2 eventually, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.